Upon discovering a frozen caveman in their backyard, two teenage misfits take on the challenge of teaching him how to live in the modern world. During the Ice Age, a primitive man wearing animal fur took shelter in a cave with his partner. Upon seeing his shivering partner, he covered her with his fur to keep her warm, and then attempted to start a fire using a stick and a stone. However, the cave was abruptly rocked by an earthquake, causing it to collapse and bury the couple deep within the cavern. In 1992, an earthquake shakes Los Angeles, waking Dave Morgan, a geeky teenager with a burning desire to become popular at school. To achieve his goal, Dave digs a pool in his backyard, preparing to host a prom after party. Suddenly, his hippie best friend, Stony Brown, arrives, but declines Dave's request to help him with the digging because he's uninterested in becoming popular. Suddenly, Dave's sister, Tina, appears and voices her disagreement with Dave's plan, implying that it's absurd and that no one will even swim in the pool. Although Stony tries to dissuade Dave by pointing out that his grade school crush, Robin Sweeney, won't go to prom with him, Dave remains steadfast in his plan to host the pool party. In fact, Dave's ambition is to become prom king and leave high school as a legendary figure, so he can look back on his time in high school as a success. Upon their arrival at Encino High School, Stoney and Dave spot Robin, who they see flirting with the school jock Matt Wilson. Seeing the couple, Dave questions what her crush sees in the bully. In their history class with Mr. Brush, Dave and Stoney learn about the Ice Age. As the teacher discusses, Dave glances at Robin, triggering Matt to give him a bad look. The teacher then presents a visual aid on the cro man, prompting Ella to crack a joke about dating one. However, the teacher clarifies that the cro man isn't a good choice since they are known for being brutal. After school, Dave and Stoney continue digging in Dave's backyard and come across a prehistoric bowl. As they examine the artifact, an earthquake hits, causing the bowl to slip from Stoney's hands. As Dave tries to catch it, he lands on a block of ice with a frozen human inside. They rush to tell Betty, Dave's mom, but she ignores them due to a phone call. After receiving no help from Dave's mom, the friends return to the site and realize they've discovered a caveman. Dave is excited about the possibility of fame and fortune, but Stoney is content with just being happy. After Dave convinces his best friend by listing what he could buy with the money, they work together to unearth the heavy ice block. Then, Dave documents their discovery with his camera, and they transport the frozen man to the garage. The next morning, the duo wakes up outside the garage and sees that the body is still encased in ice. Dave then takes another photo to document the current state of their discovery. Later in school, Dave tells Robin that he found a caveman, hoping to impress her. He invites her to come see the discovery, but she declines. A jealous Matt witnesses their interaction and proceeds to bully Dave, along with his cronies Will and Phil. The bully staples the geek onto the bulletin board, slaps him, and writes Eat Me on his forehead with a marker. Afterward, Matt triggers the fire alarm to gather everyone's attention towards Dave's embarrassing situation. In the garage, the ice finally thaws and frees the mud-covered caveman. Disoriented and confused by his unfamiliar surroundings, the caveman explores the backyard and accidentally hits himself in the face after stepping on a rake. Shortly after, Boris, the Morgan family's dog, sniffs and licks the curious caveman, who tries to touch and imitate the dog's sounds. As he stands atop a pile of dirt, he sees a suburban landscape before him. When the caveman hears a helicopter, he screams and then climbs over the wall to get to the front yard, where he frightens a postman, who quickly drops a package on the shovel the caveman's holding. To quench his thirst, the caveman drinks from the street gutter but immediately spits the liquid out because of its foul taste. Later, when a garbage truck arrives, he tries to attack it with a shovel but is startled by its honking, prompting him to return to the Morgan's house. Inside the living room, he steps on the remote and turns on the TV. He switches channels and comes across a show with dancing primitive men, which he imitates. Upon returning to the garage, Dave and Stoney discover that the caveman has vanished. Stoney consoles his disappointed friend by suggesting that maybe it wasn't meant to be. Suddenly, they notice mud handprints on the sliding door and muddy lines on the television screen. The smoke alarm goes off, prompting them to rush upstairs to investigate. As they reach Dave's bedroom, smoke seeps out of the door, prompting them to finally open it. Inside, they shockingly find the thawed caveman attempting to start a fire with a stick. Dave tries to introduce himself and Stoney to the caveman in an unthreatening manner. However, the caveman remains scared and backs himself into a corner, not understanding what the two friends are saying. Abruptly, the phone rings, causing the caveman to grab a bat and Dave to grab his skateboard in fear of being attacked. Dave instructs Stoney to answer the phone, but the caveman hits it instead. The caveman then jumps on Dave's bed and appears to calm down until the phone beeps, causing him to panic again. Just when the caveman is about to hit Dave, Stoney uses his lighter to distract the caveman, who's immediately mesmerized by the flame. Shortly after, the caveman grabs the lighter, prompting Dave to teach him how to use it. Once the caveman understands, he uses it to continue 
his fire making, but Dave interrupts him, telling him no. Upon hearing the new word, the caveman excitedly repeats it while jumping on Dave's bed. Dave notices the caveman's lack of civility and offers to teach him how to behave normally. Stoney is hesitant, but Dave warns him that others might steal the caveman and take credit for finding him, making them outcasts forever. Later, Dave and Stoney give the caveman a makeover, including a bath, brushing his teeth, a haircut, and clean clothes. They introduce the caveman to his reflection, and Dave gives him the name Link. Next, Dave tests Link's intelligence with a magic trick, pretending to detach his thumb, which surprises Link when he discovers it's not really detached. Dave then attempts to teach Link to recognize his own name, as well as Dave's and Stoney's, but Link mistakenly identifies himself as Dave. Moments later, Dave's parents honk outside, causing him to ask Stoney to escort Link to the back and ring the doorbell three times. Dave pretends to cock downstairs to distract his parents from the mess Link made. Stoney follows Dave's instructions and rings the doorbell, leading Larry, Dave's father, to answer it. Upon entering, Link curiously takes Mr. Morgan's glasses. Suddenly, Boris plays with Link and drags him to the backyard, causing Dave to close the door and explain to his parents that Link is an exchange student from Estonia. However, Mrs. Morgan appears confused and doesn't remember anything about hosting an exchange student, to which Dave insists that he mentioned it before and adds it would be shameful to send him back home. Larry remembers Dave mentioning the exchange student, leading Mrs. Morgan to become suspicious of forgetting it, but Dave explains that she has a habit for forgetting things. Eventually, the Morgans believe the story and welcome Link, allowing him to stay in Dave's room. Following dinner, Link notices a poster of a woman in Dave's room, prompting Dave to share that the woman's name is Betty. He then proceeds to gesture as if he's touching her body. Afterward, Stoney takes a photo of the three of them for documentation. The following day, Dave takes Link to Encino High School and enrolls him as a senior, hoping that having him around will make them popular. Stoney, on the other hand, insists that he just wants to be friends with Link and not exploit him. After successfully enrolling Link, Dave and Stoney argue about where to take Link after fourth period, but Link suddenly pauses upon seeing Ella and Robin in the school lobby. Curious, the caveman jumps down to take a closer look at the girls. Upon seeing Ella, Link sniffs her hair and moves in as if to kiss her, flattering the student. Dave and Stone quickly follow him and introduce Link to the girls, explaining that he's an Estonian exchange student staying with them. This immediately puzzles Ella, who thinks that Link is too cool to be in their group. In class, Link draws on the board with chalk, catching Matt's attention. Later, in the corridor, Link spontaneously dances with some students. In Spanish class, Ella leans into Link and asks him out on a date that night at Blades, requesting that Stoney drop him off there. After fourth period, Stoney takes Link to a convenience store and teaches him about food, including how to drink straight from the slushy machine, which gives him a brain freeze. Later, Stoney takes Link to an amusement park, where the caveman learns to enjoy recreational rides and arcade games. After their fun-filled day, Stoney brings Link back to the Morgan residence where they find Dave curious about where they went. To Dave's surprise, he notices that Link is starting to talk like Stoney, even using the same expressions. During dinner, Link displays more of his primitive behavior by squeezing mustard directly into his mouth, eating a fly, and sharing a meal with the Boris the dog. This behavior amuses Tina, but makes Laurie nauseous. Shortly after, Dave and Stoney take Link to Blades, the popular kids' hangout, so he can go on a date with Ella. Dave revels in their newfound elite status, and they celebrate how cool they are for being there. Unfortunately, while Link is meeting Ella, two bullies push a skateboard toward Dave, causing him to trip and fall onto Robin. Meanwhile, Link uses the ketchup and mustard bottles to draw on the transparent ice rink barrier, impressing Ella, who thinks that the caveman's art is avant-garde. When Ella asks if Link is drawing her, Link mentions Betty, the girl on Dave's poster. After the incident with the skateboard, Dave shows Robin a childhood photo of them together. Robin quickly snatches and hides it in her jacket, embarrassed that others might see. Meanwhile, Ella suspects that Betty, the girl he's drawing, is his girlfriend from Estonia. She warns him about how long-distance relationships rarely work out, and suggests that she's better because she's nearby. Suddenly, Matt crashes into the barrier and bangs it while Link is drawing, annoying the caveman. Shortly after, the Rad Mobile arcade games gets Link's attention, prompting him to abruptly leave Ella to play the game. Meanwhile, Matt sees Dave talking to Robin, causing him to take the geek to the rink and physically assault him. When Link sees this, he tries to help his friend but slips on the ice, causing him to return to the entrance. Then, Matt approaches Link and punches him hard on his face, prompting Dave to tell the caveman to fight back and stand up for himself. But instead of fighting back, the surprised Link touches his face and leaves, so Dave and Stoney follow him. Witnessing the bully's actions, Robin calls it quits between them. Returning to the car, Dave expresses frustration that Link didn't fight back against the bully, but Stoney suggests that Link's reluctance to fight can be traced back to how cavemen behaved. They fought for 
for survival and food, not for popularity. Despite this, Dave believes Link should learn self-defense. To help him, Dave plays a videotape on wrestling, kung fu, and boxing, so that Link can learn and use the moves against bullies. At school the next day, the two bullies from the rink praise Link for surviving the assault. In his classes, the caveman learns more about human civilization and technology. Impressed with Link's skills, Kim, the head of the computer club, holds a vote with the other members and decides to recruit Link as a valuable addition to their organization. The following day, Encino High School takes a field trip to a museum where the attendant shows them exhibits about early man. While exploring on his own, Link comes across people brushing skeletons and various skeletal installations of dinosaurs, causing him to panic and shout, prompting Dave and Stoney to look for him. Eventually, the duo finds Link frustrated in creating fire in the prehistoric man installation. Realizing that Link discovered the truth about himself, Stoney explains that they're his new family now. The next morning, Link finds himself among the students in Driver's Ed's class with Mr. Beatty. He's thrilled to finally take the wheel of a real car and is paired with Robin as his passenger. When Dave and Stoney witness Link's driving lessons from their classroom, they rush to the field to assist the caveman. As Link drives with a tilted car around the campus, the instructor tries to stop him, but the caveman and his passengers end up on the main road. Eventually, Link gets the hang of it and performs a perfect parallel park in front of a bar. Shortly after, Link heads to the bar and joins the dancing crowd, while Stoney socializes with a group of grown men over tequila. Meanwhile, Dave and Robin enter the bar holding hands, but Robin eventually follows Link onto the dance floor. Meanwhile, Matt and his gang sneak into the school office to see Link's records, only to discover that they're actually Boris the dogs. This raises their suspicions about what the geeks are hiding. During their time at the bar, the police suddenly arrive and arrest Link and Dave. Meanwhile, Stoney's new friends drop Robin off at her house, where she sees Matt waiting for her. She rejects the bully's invitation to prom, stating that she wants to go with someone who's cooler than him. While in prison, Dave contacts Robin for his one phone call and asks her to prom. However, she declines because she wants to go with Link, which breaks Dave's heart. Robin suggests that they all go together, but Dave hangs up on her. As a result, Dave decides to take Link far away and as he drives out of his house, Stoney spots him and follows him. They reach a far enough destination where Dave hands Link a backpack, a skateboard, and coins to play Rad Mobile. When Stoney confronts Dave, Dave explains that he can't handle Link anymore, but Stoney insists that he should go after him because it's wrong to abandon friends. Dave and Stoney end up in a heated argument about Dave's treatment of Link. The argument turns into a physical fight, which Link interrupts. However, they soon reconcile and remember that they're all family. Link then joins them in a hug, and they go home to prepare for prom. That night, Dave assists Link in getting ready for prom, but Dave can't attend due to being grounded. Later, Dave and Stoney have a drink in the backyard after Link leaves with Robin. Later, Matt and his gang sneak into Dave's bedroom, taking the photographic evidence of Link as a caveman. As Dave and Stoney go after the gang, an earthquake occurs. As Kim is about to announce Link for prom king, Matt interrupts and reveals that he's a caveman, which surprisingly endears him with the crowd, who applauds him. Just as Matt is about to show the evidence, Dave arrives and tries to grab it, but the bully punches him, causing him to fall to the dance floor. Witnessing this, Link headbutts the bully, carries him like a pro wrestler, and throws him onto the prom cake. Meanwhile, Robin retrieves the photos. Following the incident, the school band plays and Link takes over the dance floor, wowing the crowd with his moves and inciting them to do the same. After prom, Dave successfully hosts a pool party at his house, where he and Robin finally share a kiss. Meanwhile, Stoney and Link find muddy handprints on the sliding door and notice smoke inside the house. Upstairs, they find a cave woman who turns out to be Link's partner from the Ice Age. The couple reunites in a heartfelt moment, with Stoney cheering them on. After her dramatic transformation into a beautiful woman in modern clothes, the couple finally share a kiss. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.